Hi, this video is all about extracting funds out of a company for owner managed businesses where you're a director and a shareholder. Um, if you are currently a sole trader or in a partnership and thinking about incorporating your business, it's probably worth a watch just to see how you extract those funds as it's slightly different to being self-employed. So firstly, you can set up a, a payroll scheme and take a salary. The salary can be whatever level you wish. However, um, it has to be over a certain threshold to be able to trigger national insurance um, contributions, which will also then help top up your state pension. Um, salaries are relevant earnings for pension contributions, and they're also a tax deductible expense of the company. Secondly is dividends, and dividends are tax efficient for a director to take. Uh, currently, the first £2,000 of a dividend is at 0% tax, and the rates thereafter are 7.5%, 32.5% and 38.1%, depending on how many um, dividends you've taken in a year and what your other earnings are. Dividends are not a tax deductible expense of the company and for a director they do not contribute towards your relevant earnings for any pension contributions either. Thirdly, you can look at your director's loan account. A director's loan account is essentially where you've paid for expenses for the business. Um, often at startup, this could be the capital that you've invested. It might be ongoing expenses um, and things like that. And where the company owes you money, um, you can charge the company interest. The interest needs to be declared on form CT61 and interest is given back to you as a director a um, net of 20% tax. You'll then declare that interest on your self-assessment uh, tax return. And for the company, this is a tax deductible expense as well. If your director's loan account is, over, uh, is uh, owing you money, then you can also uh, just take the funds back out. It's, there's no impact on your firm, a tax point of view because the, you are just reimbursing yourself expenses you've paid into the business. Thirdly, oh, sorry, fifthly, you can look at your pension contributions. The company can make pension contributions directly into a registered pension scheme on your behalf. And um, this is tax efficient for the company as it's a tax deductible expense. And it's also good for you as a director because it's contribution to your pension pot. However, you just need to be aware of your uh, lifetime limit and what you've already put into your pension pot in that year as well. You can also look at rent um, and this is only applicable if say you have a building and you allow the business to run from that building, you can charge them commercial rate of rent. Um, this is a tax deductible expense for the company and also then gives you income which you would need to declare on your self-assessment tax return. I think that's everything covered off. Um, I will share a link below to a detailed blog on my website as to a little bit more facts and figures and gives you the numbers. Um, please like and share this video for people that are relevant and subscribe to the channel. It's really, um, it would be really good to be able to share this information for people and especially those that are just setting up businesses and need to get their head around things. Um, thank you.